Hey, what's happening, ladies and gentlemen? I'm K-Wing, and this is my spoiler-free review of The Killing Joke, the first, wait, second R-rated Batman animated film. The first one was actually a director's cut of Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. Great movie! This movie is based on Alan Moore's 1988 graphic novel. As you know, this movie has a lot of controversy surrounding it because of one scene in the prologue. Now I went into more detail for my spoiler review, so you can check that out if you want to know more about that. So Bruce Timm, producer behind Batman the Animated Series and Justice League, was approached by DC to make a film adaption of The Killing Joke. You know, Joker's iconic origin story. But because doing a panel-by-panel -panel recreation of the original comic and film would be too short, they had to create a Batgirl prologue to make the viewer feel more for what eventually happens to Babs. In actuality, this prologue is what ruins the film, which upsets a lot of people. Some make excuses that cutting the first act to enjoy the last act is the best way to go about that. But honestly, that's kind of silly. That's like saying the 2016 Ghostbusters is amazing if you skip this part, and that part, and just watch this part. Once the killing joke actually happens in the movie though, I will say this, it's a faithful recreation of the comic novel. But it does feel like it's more centered around another character this time around instead of the Joker. Which, that character really didn't even have a presence in the graphic novel to begin with. The art direction at times looks fantastic, but it does hiccup and get pretty sloppy too. Mark Hamill returns to reprise his role as the Joker, and he really shines during his origin section for the film. Kevin Conroy is back as Batman, and he sounds like... Batman. The third bad girl, Tara Strong, is back and does an okay job, more or less. Although, I didn't really like Batgirl in this movie. She comes across as kind of mean, super emotional, and a tad abusive. To be honest though, this film just doesn't live up to the hype though. I don't know if the movie was rushed, but it just feels decent. The added stuff for the film really pulls this film down, and it doesn't make it any better. The prologue should have been included as a bonus episode, and not the first act. Bruce Timm really could have pulled from other DC comics talking about different aspects of Joker's origin, like his buddy Paul Dini did in the mid-2000s. But for some reason, Bruce Timm went on to create some pretty disturbing fan fiction between two characters that I'm not going to talk about. If you like the Killing Joke novel, I suppose you could skip to the good parts, but for me, skipping parts of a movie don't really equal a good film. DC honestly has dropped the ball this time around for this animated film, just like they did with Bad Blood and a few others. So my score for this movie is three bats out of five. Now I want to hear from all of you though. What did you think of The Killing Joke? Did you love it, hate it, or not? Let me know in the comments below. But anyway, guys and gals, if you want to know my more detailed thoughts about The Killing Joke, you can check out my spoiler review, which I have linked somewhere. Anyway, have a great rest of your day, and until we meet again, God bless and happy viewing. Peace.